There is a great new feature in Microsoft Teams that is going to help you collaborate, get more work done. It's absolutely fantastic. And you can't have it. Don't you hate when that happens? When you actually see someone demonstrating a cool new feature in Microsoft Teams and then you go to try it and it's not there? A lot of times this can be caused because you're not running the public preview edition of Microsoft Teams. It's the regular edition of Microsoft Teams, but you have to go and put yourself into the public preview. And it's not as simple as just saying, give me the public preview. There are a few steps involved. That's what this video is all about. I'm going to show you how you or your IT department can go in and configure a policy for public preview access in Microsoft Teams so that you can access all these cool new features before they come out. Oh, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I have a little bonus tip on how you can find out all the new features that are coming out for Microsoft Teams. If you're the administrator for your Teams organization, then you'll have access to the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. If not, you will have to involve your IT support organization to do this. But when you log into the Office 365 Admin Center, what you can do is you can go into the Teams Admin Center, Underneath the Teams Admin Center, you'll notice that there is a Teams Update Policies setting. By default, there's a global organizational-wide setting, but if we want people to have access to the public preview, then we're going to have to add a new policy in here. And we'll call this uh, Public Preview Policy. Now, once we have this, we'll apply this, and we'll have two policies in here. We'll have the Public Preview Policy, as well as the Global Policy that's there. The next thing we'll need to do is we'll actually have to go into Manage Our Users here, and we'll have to select the user that we want. And underneath this user here, what I can do is go and see which policies that they are going to use. So you notice that this user is affected by a number of different policies. So one of the things that we want to do is we can go in and we can say, okay, what are your, your messaging meeting policies? And you'll notice that the policies here for this user, I can edit them. And what I can do is underneath the update policy, I can put them into the public preview. I'll say OK to this, and it might take a little bit of time. It says here a few hours to see these changes come in. So now that I've created that policy and assigned it to that user, I'll log in as that user, and if I hit the ellipse here and go into the About, you'll notice that in my case I also have a developer preview, but I have both the developer and the public preview. That's going to give me access to a lot of cool features. Some of those features will be handy to get familiar with before they become available to everyone so that I can, well, in my case, create some training videos so that people are aware of what's coming and also so that you can maybe create some resources for people that are in your organization and demonstrate it through screenshots. Or you know what you can do? You can give them the link to my channel and I'll train them for you. So of course, to test features that involve more than one user, let's go ahead and grab Bender here. And what we'll do is we'll also assign him the ability to go in and use the um, policy. So we'll do the update policy. We'll do our new public preview policy that we created. So now I have both myself as well as Bender that can work with the public preview version of Microsoft Teams. And now for that bonus feature. If you're in Microsoft Teams and you go to the search, you can put forward slash what's new. And the what's new command will tell you everything that's new in Microsoft Teams for desktop, iOS, Android, and Microsoft Team devices. You can go in and see all the new things that are there, or you can subscribe to this channel because a lot of these things I'll cover as well. Thanks for watching. Here's some other videos you can check out, and I hope you'll like and subscribe to the channel.